Hey Gemini, it's your girl to Aunt with the Dex Council. Thank you for checking into the channel. We're going to go ahead and get in the read for you guys and see what's going on. Hope you guys are doing well. Take only the messages that resonate. Okay, leave what doesn't. And we're going to go ahead and tap in. Okay, somebody could be giving you nice gesture, gestures at this time and, you know, doing nice things for you or you could be doing those for others. Somebody could have recently gotten gold paint on their hand. Okay, there's some fast changes that's taking place right now. Okay. And with these fast changes... You need to go with the flow of love and life. You need to rest and rejuvenate at the same time. So focusing on self and doing what you need to do so that you can be running this fast race with these fast changes that's actually either currently happening or getting ready to happen. Because right now there's a lot of demands a lot of demands is about to be on the table with these fast changes and you need to be aware, okay? Because people really believe that you have this star power and you need to believe that within yourself as well, okay? There could be talk of business ventures or um, some, type of, some type of offers are getting ready to come in, changes in relationships, whether it's friendships, business, or... Um, intimate relationships, but there is going to be some fast changes. Somebody could be getting could be getting ready to go to dinner. Okay, somebody could um, be seeing feathers right now. This is gonna bring you these fast changes with you operating in this star power with these new opportunities that's coming towards you. It's really going to um, put you in a place of your life of feeling free. You'll be able to have that emotional and financial freedom that you have been trying to get, okay? Yeah, what I tell you, there's some type of relationships. There's, there's new relationships coming into your life that's, this is gonna be moving like this. You're just gonna be meeting people left and right. There could even be people that, you know, Maybe you have already um, have a good relationship with and been long-term friends with for some time and have a decent relationship. Maybe there may be some type of business ventures or something that you guys may be going into. Somebody could may want to have a conversation with you about that. You know what I'm saying? Or even taking the current friendship and maybe even start dating. You know, that's something that could definitely be on the table for you. Okay? Because there's a lot of changes that's going up and it's starting to feel like relationships with friends, intimate relationships, family, and business. There's a lot of big things are about to happen for you guys, okay? Yeah, and with this new relationship, you know, somebody could be getting ready to gift somebody some type of gift, you know what I'm saying? Or you just now tapping into your other talents and doing things that really bring you joy and peace is really about to open up some new doors. This is going to be like some new proud, profound type of independence you about to get with these fast changes. Like you're very smart and intelligent. You know, this is really about to put you onto calmer waters because things may have been turbulent and rough over the years or a couple months or so for you. And things are really finally about to start getting smooth for you. You know, right now, you know, you there. there's relationships is a big one on the table right now. What I tell you, fast changes, a lot of movement about to happen. It's coming fast. It's, it's really coming fast. Somebody could like horses, could have seen a bunny rabbit or even recently seen a horse. Somebody could have been on the beach. Okay. And also with this movement, right, somebody could, um, Somebody could be into um, Hinduism or Buddhism for spirituality, but with this movement and these fast changes, see, there's a lot of 
divine intervention at play for you right now, Gemini, okay? God and the angels and your ancestors is really truly working behind the scenes, making things happen for you. They heard your prayers. All they're asking for you to do right now is to do some inner work, work on your shadow side, work on your your hurt, your pain, your trauma, work on what makes you happy and start focusing on that, okay? Because things are moving so fast, you need to be clear, mind, body, heart, and soul for this change that's happening. You'll be getting more insight into what's going on and how to better serve your needs. But this is important that you start really focusing on working on yourself, your healing, and your spirituality, okay? Somebody could have recently watch the sunrise or like to watch the sunrise or even watch when the sun goes down yeah this is what i tell you earlier this is about to bring you some new type of freedom you probably recently seen a feather could have been walking found a feather on the ground yeah because with this new freedom you about to feel real passionate about this new beginning with within these connections relationships okay this is even if it's a new talent that you're working on, it's about to bring you a real true passion. You're about to get your fire back, your zest. A lot of things are unfolding for you. You understand what I'm saying? Because you truly been manifesting and God has heard you. So go with the flow of love and life. Everything is happening in divine timing for you. You're going to be successful. Focus in on building up your education too, taking a class or two, okay? getting stronger in a certain skill okay help someone out or you know give somebody a hand you know help somebody there's a lot of divine guidance at play right now because there was people in your energy who was trying to cause you to be in a prickly situation but see you cultivated a whole new perspective on life and this is why you protect it right now and this is why you're getting all these new offerings that's coming in. There's a lot of signs and synchronicities that is being shown to you about what your future is about to be like because you're truly making progress right now, okay? You're going to go into an equal give and take relationship. This is going to be beautiful, whether it's business or platonic. It doesn't matter. Any connections that you have with people, no matter what it is, should be an equal give and take exchange. Most oftentimes it's not. Somebody could like to be out in nature. Somebody could like to even um, live on a farm or recently been on a farm. Yeah, there's definitely some type of offering that's getting ready to come in toward you, Gemini. So I'm telling you, babe, be ready. Current energy, current energy, current energy for Gemini. Yeah, because you about to take off. Your health is doing good. You focus in on your investments. A lot of things are starting to unlock for you. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you really about to be on your your boss status that you always envision yourself to be. Yeah. So get ready. Get ready. You could be a person who's a designer, okay? And you creating new products and clothing or designing, um, you know, books, whatever you're creative with, okay? This is about to bring you a lot of new changes, okay? You could be some type of artist, okay? Like you're being called to tune more into your individuality and express yourself more. So like a career in fashion or some type of artistic endeavor is good for you, okay? You know, get creative also with your finances. Perhaps it's time for you to discover some type of new talent. You know, you could also be a person that likes to write as well, okay? Like, you know, you, you may be a person that likes to, even sometimes, some people like to ride buses and limos and 
do transportation like that, you know, that brings in money. Plus, you get to meet people of certain statures. You understand what I'm saying? Um, by transporting them to and from the airport or wherever they're going. Yeah, somebody definitely out here is a designer. Somebody like to make, they like to create things. Yeah, this relationship is about to fall right into your lap. And also this money, and this money is about to really bring you, I mean, this business venture is really about to bring you in a windfall of money. I'm telling you, you're about to receive a windfall of money or you're going to get some type of pay raise. But money is currently in a positive cycle for you at this time. You know, this is a good time for you to treat yourself and, you know, make that big purchase that you want. This money is, if it hasn't come in already, it's getting ready to. I'm telling you, things is unlocking. You know, you about to be on your real boss money manager shit, okay? You growing. You about to take action. And things is about to take off. Focus heavy on your spirituality. This is important. There's things that you have been taught over the years and since a child when it pertains to religion or spirituality. And God is asking that you go back and revisit that so that you could start developing your relationship more with him. However you believe, whatever it is, God needs you to come back to him and truly put your focus on him at this time. There's a lot of changes. And let me tell you something. In order for you to survive these changes and really... And really be able to make these changes work for you the way they should work. You need to get back in tune with your spirituality. Because you are, you're naturally a leader, okay? You a leader, but you could be a rebel sometimes. And, and you can be in denial at times, but it's time to get connected to earth. Because you already experienced a lot of setbacks over time. And this is why... Because you persevered through them and still was loving and kind and compassionate. This is why you're getting these new offerings. God heard you. He see you. He heard you. Listen, with this new movement, God is putting you in your life purpose. What I'll tell you, you'll have new ideas and, be insp and inspirations that will help guide you to your divine calling. Okay, Gemini, this is this is real serious for you. You can't make this up. You see the cards coming out. This is your life purpose. This movement is gonna give you. You gonna have so much emotion. You just probably you probably would just be in the house and just sit down and just break down crying because all you've been through and this great windfall of ambition, inspiration, creativity is going to bring you in this money, this this mental, emotional, financial, and spiritual security that you have been yearning for and crying out for. And this, this is putting you even in a stronger leadership role than you may currently already be in. Because there's people that's going to be looking up to you. You're the teacher. You're going to be out here having students that you're going to need to teach. And students, we're talking about just... People coming across you and asking for guidance, you know what I'm saying? Just simple conversations and asking for, you know, assistance or some type of, some type of guidance. That's all. You, whatever it is you've been wanting and hoping and dreaming and wishing and praying and manifesting is here. It is here. It is here. Yeah, what I tell you, luck is on your side. This new profound freedom this, this is a blessing. This is a true blessing. Anything you do now will be very prosperous for you, Gemini. If you believe that you're lucky, you'll create an abundance, an abundance mindset. Your perspective is stifling your growth, okay? And stomping on your luck. So it is important to maintain that positive mindset. I'm going to make it. I'm going to be successful. Yup, this is what I'm doing. This is my goals, my dreams. This is what I'm working towards. Everything else is lining up. 
Because you need to trust that the universe has a better plan for you than you even have. So whatever you already trying to do, God got something a thousand times better than that. But continue to keep working on what you working on because it is a good plan. It's going to line you up to transition and have God be able to then have that road change like a split of a hair where you're not even going to realize that you done. Next thing you know, you done turned to a whole nother direction, but still doing the same work and having better connections. You know, and this is why, you know, when right now you also need to be cautious with your money. With any financial decisions you make, you need to be cautious right now. Try not to overspend, okay? Only focus on what you need instead of not, not your wants. Don't focus on it. Focus on what you need at this time. And before you start offering to really just jump out the window and be helping people, you need to set a healthy time boundaries. Like, you know, you can't just be out there going and just helping people and knowing that you got to be somewhere else at a certain time. That's more important. Even though you want to help, but you got to be more mindful. You got, because all of this is playing a part for these fast changes and this new movement that God got going on for you. Because he's trying to put you in this money, this money manager position. You know, your career and finances, you know, are really about to move. Things is about to change fast for you. It's a lot of motion. You know, Things that was locked at one point in your life that you felt was locked is now unlocked. You got the key. It's already open. Going into these new partnerships, you know, manifesting strong partnerships and relationships is important. And you consider having a partner who can bring the experience that you need for whatever it is you're trying to work on. And sometimes it's hard to even trust people when it concerns doing you know, shit, hell, even relationships, but business bu business relationships too, it's like, damn, you don't even know if you can even be, trust anybody, but God is asking that you truly, truly take your time figuring out who you want to partner with and move in silence right now. Don't let nobody know what you got going on. Do not let the left know what the right doing, okay? Somebody could like to go to the gun range. Somebody could... Somebody could have even recently found a four-leaf clover. Somebody could even be Irish. Somebody could have curly hair. Uh, let's do... No, I'm going to just go straight to this. Yeah, you trying to you've been very hopeful. You've been very very hopeful and and you know just holding on to hope and faith that things is going to be all right for you. You know, but because you have a you have a strong vision on how it is you want your life to play out and what it is you want to do. And you're going to be successful. Energy, energy, energy for Gemini. Look, King of Swords, that's you, Gemini. Intellectual, ambitious, passionate, action-oriented, leadership. That Look, you stand and listen, you know how to make things work for you. You know how to, you know how to be very strict, and you also know when you need to give a little leeway. And right now, it is important for you to get in this leadership role. Because you have a lot of, there's dreams that you have always wanted to achieve. And it's here. Okay? But there was also a lot of illusions that was going on around you. Okay? And what you possibly had to, just a lot of rivalry and competition and fighting to stand your position on shit. Like... You just got tired because you was used to also certain traditions and you felt overwhelmed and burdened at times. But, you know, now it's time for you to go and celebrate with this group of people, you know, and have that stability, that that home that you want. 
Because you really been manifesting and praying. You Listen, you was financially and emotionally and physically depleted at one point. You felt left out. You was broke. You was left out. Family broken up. Outside. You standing outside the church. It's winter time. Cold. You heartbroken. You trying to. You, you dealing with all these challenges. You might have even looked at the church. Or looked at your Bible like. Yeah. I'm, I don't even. You know what. I should read the scripture. I don't even feel like it. Because you was just so hurt and broken down and you was just tired of constantly experiencing all these difficulties but see how you was feeling broke down right you see the angel was with you the angel was with you guiding you not letting you walk out in that cold be alone god and the angels was with you the whole time and just because you outside of that five of pentacles, outside of that church, outside of that family, that, that whole community or group or whatever, it's all right. Because you got your own journey, your own direction you was going in. You tired of fighting. You sick of that shit. You had to keep being on the defense and, and asserting yourself and your position and who you is as a man or as a woman. You know what I'm saying? As a father, as a mother, a daughter, a sister, a friend. A, a business partner and they try and they shunned you out and try to keep you out and you gave so much to motherfuckers and you like yo i don't even got nothing left to give i'm burnt out i'm beat down so fuck it you was like i'm gonna take this this ending i'm gonna deal with this tennis words to the back and this was nothing but this was nothing but but that devil energy this was nothing but that that whole sabotage you know it was like people was trying to sabotage you but then as you think about it when you start healing and no longer focusing on what the people was doing to you you start thinking about what you was doing to yourself and in which that's when you realize self-sabotage was something that wasn't good for you that mindset it was keeping you Keeping you chained to the wrong thoughts, the wrong behaviors. And you needed to get up out of that. So you started doing a lot of a lot of self-reflection and introspection. And you decided to truly awaken to what's really been going on in your life and, the, and to who you are. And you started to accept this. This new knowledge and information because the trumpets got blown. So you decided to call your power back and deal with this death and rebirth. And now you sitting up here feeling like you ready to start taking action. You focusing on, on stability at this time. How can you move forward? What steps you need to take? Because you want to be happy and have that emotional and financial fulfillment and stability. You want that family. You want to be happy. You want to go into a new cycle. And you want to forget the last cycle. But everything is happening for you in divine timing though. Everything is happening in divine timing. God is feeding you with moderation right now as you're seeking this higher wisdom. That's why God is feeding you little by little by little by little by little. Because God wants you to be so strong that you're standing on pure honesty and truth with who you are, period. And you ain't folding for nobody. You have to know when something is over. You have to let it go. You have to know when it's time to move, when it's time to be still.
with you standing firm on your healing and moving forward. This shit got you with so many. You are so blessed right now. You got so many different possibilities and choices and opportunities that you got about seven opportunities in front of you, right? No matter which one that you take, it's going to put you in your life purpose. That's how divinely guided and protected you being right now. You got the, listen, you got the angels walking with you when you had nothing. You was out in the cold, broken down with the fucking crutches, dog. Somebody could have recently even broke their leg, could have broke their, their left leg or their right leg and had crutches. However, that angel was walking with you, guiding you towards this new seven of cups because the angels had to show you the angels literally had to show you what how the how emotions and energy and money that frequency all works together on how you manifest it and these new and this broken downness that you experience that's putting you in this new energy with this new fast movement and changes and luck and freedom you got seven opportunities right in front of you so you probably sitting at home you might be smoking an L. you could be having a little drink you could just be just not even doing that you could just be working out got your headphones on walking chilling thinking sitting on the patio whatever you doing you taking some time to be by yourself and you're thinking and you're pondering about all these different ideas that you got in your head on what you may want to do with your life. So I'm here to tell you that these seven different opportunities and ideas and for all this creativity that you got going on, no matter which one you choose, it is going to be blessed. This is what I'm trying to tell you. So if you're thinking, damn, I don't want to pick that one. It's going to be the wrong one. There is no wrong one because you're that blessed that no matter which one you pick is going to put you in the purpose and bring you what you need. No matter how you do it, no matter which one you choose. Because it's going to be bullseye for your life purpose. You can't make this up. This is nothing but God talking. This is real. This is serious right now. This is serious. The possibilities is endless. You could be, yeah, this is, yes. Because see, you, you picking this new journey of whatever you're going to pick is going to put you in Queen of Pentacles energy. You'll be very generous. You'll be dependable. You know, your emotions will be aligned up. You understand what I'm saying? Because... When you hurt and then you dealing with all that pain, some, it's hard to be balanced at times. And you probably wasn't as balanced because you had that, that hate and anger, that resentment on your heart. And this is why the angel was with you to walk you away from that fi the family, them finances, them people, that job, all that to show you how your heart brings in the manifestations. It brings in... The true love, the, the 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 true the true love, the purpose, the money, the right people. Everything is about balance. And Gemini, y'all operate with the twins. Okay? It's like y'all got two personalities. Y'all got this duality, this 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 juggle. So it's like, listen, getting lined up is going to bring you exactly what it is that you deserve. And what you need. So you God blessing you with what you deserve, what you need, and what you want. You're you're good. You're good. You was probably thinking about, I'm sure you was thinking about the times where you did have money and you was very generous and gave a lot of people stuff and helped them out. And how y'all used to spend time together, hang out, party. And now you feeling emotionally and mentally strapped and um trapped and restricted you understand what i'm saying and you're like damn i don't got no balance and stability right now i'm i'm struggling my own self financially and 
in my relationships and in work. But this is why God coming through with the empress for you. You could be getting ready to meet an empress. You could be the empress. Whether you man or woman, because it's about the energy, but it's about going into that creative mode and being, um, being, you know, having money, being financially stable, being emotionally and mentally, spiritually sound. You understand what I'm saying? Being able to be on one accord, focus on your vision and your goals and being balanced and being creative and nurturing to yourself and being nurturing to others. Yep, what I tell you, what I tell you, cause check, page of pentacles. With all the, all the dreaming, all the daydreaming, the fantasizing, with all these different endless possibilities, okay? You got over seven different possibilities. Nothing less than seven, seven or better. And no matter which one that you pick, babe, you are going to be fruitful. It is going to make you be abundant. It is going to set you financially, emotionally, physically, and spiritually free. You'll be able to make moves. You could go buy you some land with this money you about to get. And this is serious. This ain't no, oh, a little dollar or two. This is really going to change your life. This is going to bring you temperance, okay? It's going to bring you balance and harmony, okay? This is it. This is it. This is it. And truth, bottom of the deck, justice. This is justice for you for all you have done, everything you've been through. Let's see what your angels got to say. And then I'm going to close you out, Gemini. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use these for a second, reading. I'm going to use, I'm going to save that. Let's see what your angels got to say. Your angels want you to focus on forgiveness. They want you to have hope. Continue to be hopeful. The angels remind you that without hope, you can't build any belief, okay? You need to focus on your self-care as well at this time, all right? Because there's a lot of abundance that's coming. You can't make this up falling under that seven of cups. Okay? All right? You've been anxious with some anxiety, but you need to let that go. Because, like I said, if you've been anxious and worried because you got a lot of ideas and you're feeling overwhelmed because you're scared to make the wrong decision, this is what God is telling me to tell you. Do No matter which decision you make, it's going to be fruitful and abundant. So there's no wrong decision. He just wants you to choose what's going to make you happy. So if I hope that brings down your anxiety, okay, if you have any. Because there's a lot of greatness that's taken off. You can already feel your energy changing and seeing little things happening that you like, damn, things kind of feel like they might be looking up. Yeah, God wants you to be confident. If you lack confidence in making a decision, the angels is, the angels will send you positive energies to boost your confidence level. What I tell you, I just told you that if you're having anxiety about which decision to make, no matter which one you make, you're going to be okay. Now we have the angel card coming out. The angels is telling you to be confident in the decision that you make. And if you're not confident, the angels will send you positive energies to boost your confidence level. Not for nothing, but here your girl is confirming everything that I already has said. And I'm encouraging you to go ahead and make that move. No matter which decision you make, you're going to be fruitful. You're going to be good. So listen, Gemini, I am ecstatic for you guys. 
I hope this message finds you well. Just know you're truly being divinely guided and blessed and protected at this time. Go ahead and make that move and watch the changes that's going to happen for you. So I hope this message finds you well. Peace and many blessings.